Hi, everybody. It's Dr. Duke again, Academic Director of Freedom Project Academy, and we've got another great video for you. You know um, our very talented Mary Black, 45-year uh, teacher in the public schools and private schools. She's been doing a wonderful series for us on the inanity of Common Core. Today, she's going to show you a video about how Common Core teaches kids how to add whole numbers in elementary school. Uh, you and I know it's the easiest thing in the world. You put two numbers on top of each other, you come up with the answer. Watch all of the arcane strategies that Common Core uses. Let's begin our survey of how addition is now taught in grades one through four. I have noted the first grade standard that calls for making 10. This means that a young student must decompose or break apart numbers to make 10. In this example, 5 is decomposed into 3 and 2. Because this is developmentally inappropriate, the child must be trained by putting the same number in the squares and the same number in the diamonds. Once robotically trained, a first grade arithmetic problem looks like this. Our FPA first graders simply memorize the fact 5 plus 9 equals 14, like you and I did. Memorizing is the more age-appropriate method. In the second grade, students use the making 10 strategy to add multiple digits. In this example, the 15 must be decomposed to 2 and 3. This is developmentally inappropriate and makes the simplistic addition of 38 and 15 abstract and complex. In second grade, another strategy, the break apart or expanded form, is taught. The purpose of these strategies, the children are told, is to make addition easier because obscure addition facts like 8 plus 4 can be overwhelming. My response is that these facts are not overwhelming if they are memorized. Another second grade strategy is base 10 blocks. After writing the problem, symbols for tens and ones are made for each number and groups of tens are bundled. Second graders are drawing pictures to add. This is preventing them from moving on to higher level math skills. One last second grade strategy for adding is modeling. It is very similar to base 10 blocks. Note the circles in each column are numbered, making the bundling of 10 robotic. These strategies arrest the development of higher level skills and are intend to water down arithmetic so all can succeed. A look at the third grade strategies show that the students have not yet progressed to just using the standard form or algorithm. The old-fashioned way to add, we're told. Do you note the division between parent and child? Third graders are still making 10 and are asked to use the developmentally inappropriate strategy of decomposing numbers to multiples of 10 combined with the making 10 strategy. Note 28 is decomposed to 20 plus 8. The 8 is then used to make a multiple of 10. In fourth grade, we see the abstract and meaningless tape diagram strategy. The entire tape represents a sum of the two numbers. The larger portion of the tape is given to the largest number. Its purpose, you ask? I have no idea. The place value chart is the same as the second grade base 10 blocks. It should be apparent that few students taught these strategies will ever be able to add independently. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why, one of the many reasons why we want you to take a look at Freedom Project Academy. We guarantee you that we're not going to take any government money, any state money, any federal money, and that means we can be completely independent. And we will be independent from government school methodology and pedagogy. That means no common core for us anytime ever. If you want your kids to get a basic, simple education, a classical education that prepares them better than anything else that's ever been tried in the world, prepare your kids for careers in math, science, history, reading, writing, arithmetic, whatever they want to do. Take a look at fpeusa.org and look at Freedom Project Academy.